गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स मार्च इज अगेन हियर एंड इन मार्च एंड अप्रैल अलोंग विथ द क्लोजर ऑफ बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स फॉर टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट्स इट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट टू डू मल्टीफरेस टैक्स कंप्लाइंसेज एज पर जी एस टी एंड इनकम टैक्स डॉम्स इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस अ ट्वेंटी पॉइंट चेक लिस्ट फॉर जी एस टी एंड इनकम टैक्स कंप्लाइंसेज विच आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी डन in march and april so that the tax compliances can be adequately taken care of so first in march and april at the year end a stock taking is done by all the businesses in such stock taking there are various items which are found destroyed stolen and which are written off or found lost in such case ensure that corresponding gst itc reversal is done however for merely slow moving and non moving items which are not destroyed but damaged or not even damaged there is no required for gst itc reversal even in case a provision is made in the books of accounts second many of the taxpayers it is seen that during the year they have not complied with norms for self invoicing and making payment vouchers for rcm payments under gst receipt vouchers for advance payments even sometimes delivery chalans even if they have complied with the documentation in table number 13 of gstr1 the series and the count of the documents are not mentioned if such be the case then ensure that in the return for the month of march 2024 for the full year compliance is done to regularize the matter third from 1st april ensure that for invoices bill of supply delivery chalan even debit notes and credit notes and other documents under gst new series and serial numbers state wise is done many taxpayers ask a question as to where is the mandate please note that there was in 2019 a gst portal or gst network advisory in this regard many a times it is seen that for credit notes and debit notes many softwares large erps do not allow a state wise serial number this is not compliance with the gst norms and state wise even in case of credit notes and debit notes serial numbers is required therefore it is important that you comply with such norm in case you are issuing credit notes ensure that at least a persuasive evidence is there that your customer has reversed the corresponding itc in case you have received a gst credit note ensure that you have sufficient evidence that you have not taken the input tax credit or have correspondingly reversed the proportionate input tax credit with respect to such credit notes many of the taxpayers are not complying with circular 170 of 2022 still circular 170 requires that the entire itc as per your 2b should be taken in table 4a of 3b and then permanent reversal or temporary reversal has to be done in table 4b thereafter a reclamation can be done in 4d and the corresponding figures are reflected now in your electronic credit reversal and reclaim statement ensure in case for 23 24 you have not complied with circular 170 that you do comply with such circular at least in the month of march 24 for the full year 23 24 if not done earlier 
Mind that this circular was notified to in 2022 by notification number 14. Therefore, compliance with this circular is a mandatory requirement for taxpayers. Seventh, this is a ITC optimization point wherein as per rule 37A, even if your supplier has not filed GSTR 3B, you can as well take the input tax credit if such ITC is reflecting in your GSTR 2B and ensure that by September 24, your supplier has filed the corresponding GSTR 3B. Mind that even if till September 24, your supplier does not file his 3B, even then you can reverse the ITC without any interest implication. So at least there would be a cash flow saving. Next, many a times GST, TDS and TCS are appearing in your GST ledgers which are not adequately accounted in your books of accounts. Please ensure that such reconciliation is done between TDS, TCS as per the GST portal and your books of accounts. This would ensure that from debtors such balances are transferred to cash or liquid assets which would impact your working capital ratio. Next, many a times in case of imports, the ITC for bill of entries are not reflecting in your 2B. Many a times they are not reflecting in ICE gate 2. Please ensure that you use the fetch bill of entry utility. Even in case then the ITC is not reflecting in your GSTR 2B or ICE gate, you may still take the input tax credit as per section 16 subsection 2, but ensure that you have an evidence that you have filed a grievance and this is a technical glitch. We all know that under GST, the vendor needs to be paid within 180 days. Ensure you comply with it in March 24 if not complied earlier. ISD for multi-state registered enterprises is now a mandate after enactment of Finance Act 2024 and it could be notified very soon. Therefore, if you have not taken ISD registration and if you are a multi-state registered enterprise, then it is important that you take the corresponding ISD registration and start complying with such norms so that there is no last minute rush when the notification is out. The taxpayers who are doing e-invoicing, many of the times it is seen that certain invoices, IRNs are not generated or erroneously cancelled due to technical glitches. Please ensure you do a reconciliation for the full year for such IRNs not issued or cancelled and you reissue or issue the IRNs so that there is no continuing non-compliance at this end. Now few points in income tax. You all know that uh, section 43b clause h has been newly inserted and is applicable from 23-24 financial year. You might go to our YouTube channel in Tax Connect Advisory Services. We have a 10 point checklist for you to follow in March 24. But in short, please ensure that you do all your MSC due payments in March and April. 24 so that 43b clause h is not non complied with and there is, there is no tax cost at the year end in the form of addbacks in financial year 23-24. At least ensure that you have issued the check because the date of issue of the check and not encashment of the check 
shall be considered as the payments for the purpose of 43b clause h many of you would be getting alerts in the form of uh, e campaigns from the income tax portal for compliance with your advance tax norms even if you have no advance tax payable please ensure such e campaign is replied to adequately in case of mse payments under 43 bh ensure that you do not have an interest payable because interest payable to msmes under msme act is not allowed as a deduction to you under income tax act next important compliances are under section 194q and 206c 1h in case you are purchasing goods and you have a turnover of more than 10 crores and a transaction with a seller of more than 50 lakhs during the year ensure you have complied with tds at the rate of 0.1% under 194q so that there is no interest and penal action on you if you are a seller and your buyer has not complied with tds norms under 194q ensure you have collected tcs under 206c1h at the rate of 0.1% and paid it to the income tax department in compliance with circular 13 of 2021 in fact we advise our tax payers that in case you find a buyer is non compliant with 194q in the last year you may suo moto comply with tcs at the rate of 0.1% under 206c 1h next as you are aware that in case the pan number of a tax payer including your vendors or your employees also is not linked with aadhar card that pan number will get deactivated and thereafter you are liable to deduct tds at 20% or higher rate as per section 206c aa therefore it is important to check whether when you are making payment to vendors or employees their pan numbers are active or not in case they are not active then you have to deduct a higher rate of tds next in case any of your vendors have not filed a income tax return in the last year and the tds or tcs is more than 50000 then they would be liable to a higher rate of tds under 206 and the pan numbers of such tax payers would be available on the income tax portal ensure in april 24 you download the new pan numbers which would be downloaded and refreshed only once in a financial year and for such pan numbers until unless they thereafter comply with the norm you deduct a higher rate of tds and last but not the least friends tds or tcs under income tax is a almost parallel income tax regime please ensure that you do a detailed scrutiny of tds tcs compliance under income tax so that there is no interest or penalty applicable at your end so this is the 20 point exhaustive checklist which 
we in tax connect have complied for you you might get the article also on our website you might download the checklist also and happy compliances for the year end thank you very much for watching please do like share and subscribe to this channel stay tuned thank you very much